The Follow Path tool allows us to create an outline or guide for another layer to follow. It's pretty easy and it's pretty cool. So first we have a vector layer on the workspace. You can see it is a rocket. We can actually find this in the Anime Studio library if you want to use it. And for right now, I'm just going to take the transform layer tool, just scale it down and move it over here to the side. So you'll see we have another layer here, layer one. We can just use this for our guide. Now, if you don't have a layer here, you can always go up to new layer and then vector to create a layer. In this case, we will name this layer guide. So now with that guide layer selected, we can come over here on frame zero, take the add point tool, and we're just simply going to lay down some points. Now make sure that you're not creating a stroke with this, just an outline like this. That's all you need. So now we can come back here to the rocket layer. We'll come over here to what is called the follow path tool. So click that and you'll notice now that you have a red outline indicating the guide on the previous layer. So let's page forward to frame one and then let's click right here, just right on the edge of the left part of the guide. Now your rocket will probably move a little bit. You can see it moved off a little bit, but that's okay. We'll correct it here in a little bit. So now move to, let's say frame 120, and then click on that right side of the line. And you'll see that the rocket moves. So now we can come back here to frame one here, and then we can take the transform layer tool and we'll just move the rocket over here so it's closer to the line. So you can kind of see like that. So now if we hit play, you can see that the rocket goes along with the path. So that's pretty cool. Now there's another thing we can do too. Let's double click on the rocket layer. You can see that there is a squiggly line on the layer as well that indicates that it's following a path, just so you are aware. So we can double click and you'll see on the bottom we have options. We can click rotate to follow path and then hit OK. Now your object might rotate a little bit, but you can just take the transform layer tool and nudge it back to where it needs to go. Now hit the play button again. You can see that as it follows the path, it also rotates. It's very subtle here, but it is happening. So let's come back here to frame zero and click on that guide and let's add some more points. Let's really make the rotation obvious. So I can come in here and just add a few more points like that. I'll just come down like this and up with my lines. So something like that. So we go to frame one. You can see already that he's facing the right way. Click and you can see now that it rotates as it follows the path. So that's pretty cool. Just remember when you use the follow path tool, you may need to adjust the layer slightly with the transform layer tool if it does move too far off the path. So what this means is you can offset your path so that you don't have to have the layer on the path itself. You can have it anywhere you want on the layer and just have the set path tool then set the motion for it. So that's pretty cool as well. And you'll also notice here on your timeline, that you have a channel that is separate for the follow path tool. So again, that makes things easy to work with. If you'd like more information on Anime Studio, please visit the official Anime Studio website at anime.smithmicro.com. Thanks for watching guys, and we will see you next time.